Hi. How are you? I'm going to film. Turn, turn, turn. So I was scroll. So I was scrolling through Pinterest because if you didn't know, scrolling through Pinterest is one of my extracurricular activities. It's listed on my CV. It's official. My train of thought. And I found this image. So today we're gonna try and make it. So supplies. Looked through my closet and I found this sweater. It is a metallic gold sweater. It shimmers. I don't know. I don't know how well you can tell, but it is shimmering. So we're gonna work with this and we're just gonna get into it. Rule number one. I'm gonna make a mark and I wanna cut off my sleeve. And I'm trying to I'm feeling like that's good, you know? That sits well with my soul. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's try this blue one. Nothing. We have white. This is kind of our last hope. You know what? Actually, we're just gonna go back to this one. Our handy dandy. Our handy dandy. Scissors. So our mark is there. I'm gonna go down a bit and then cut her. And once the cut is made, there is truly no going back. So I'm gonna fold that over and then copy that line. So now we have both sleeves attached. So I'm gonna cut open the back. Luckily for me, there is this straight line that goes all the way down. So I'm just gonna cut along it. And this is it. So from here, the top goes down. Like that. So I'm just gonna mark it with some hints. So I'm gonna cut along that line. We're gonna fold it in half because symmetry is a goal that we want to achieve here. So we're going to pin them to one another. The sweater is not fitted, so I will have to cut off some fabric. So I just want to see how much fabric I need to cut off. Um, On the other side. Okay, so we're gonna cut. So I have everything pinned on the sleeves as well as the bodice piece. We're gonna hem these by hand. Fun. So I have threaded our handy dandy, our handy dandy. hand needle. So we're gonna put the needle through. What is this? We're gonna grab some fabric from the bottom. We're gonna put it through at the same spot. As always, wrap her around and we pull. So we're gonna put her inside the fold and pop her out somewhere else. Then you're gonna grab some more under, go to the same point 
wrap around and pull. So I'm done hemming everything on both the sleeves and the bodice. Now I'm gonna create the channels for the ties. I'm using this finished edge. So I'm just gonna fold it in there and I'm gonna hem it. So I'm going to attach these ties here. So with the help of a safety pin, I put the last tie through the channels at the top. I put in the sleeve, making sure the side that I wanted to face towards the front was facing that direction. Then I put in the bodice and then the last sleeve.